drummingforlife.com. Hey there, it's Vaughn at drummingforlife.com. Aloha, I hope you're doing well. So uh, today I want to respond to a viewer's comment about a particular drum fill I did in a recent YouTube short video. Check this out. So the viewer requested that I do a video about how I played this exact drum fill. Now, for those of you who know me and know my teaching, you know that I don't teach drum licks. I don't think they're particularly helpful, especially in the context of jazz. So what I'm going to teach you instead is much more powerful. I'm going to teach you the basic hand pattern that I use to create lots of fills like that so that you can also create your own cool jazz drum fills. Before we get into that, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and swish that like button if you like the video and leave me a comment. I'd love to connect with you and I do respond to all of my comments. Now let me show you what I do. This pattern actually I teach in the brushes mastery course and I use it in the context of playing brushes. So if you want to learn how to use it kind of in that context, head over there to jazzdrumschool.com and you can check it out. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is with sticks. So as you can see on the screen now, I've, you've got a basic a, a pattern that's made of triplets. And this is all I'm playing in that video is basically triplets. But it's combinations of doubles in the right hand and doubles in the left hand and singles in the right hand and singles in the left hand. So I'm going to teach you right now the, the pattern, kind of like the, the jumping off pattern to get there to start learning how to be more creative with your hands in these kind of triplet patterns. So this is the basic pattern. It goes like this. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Pretty simple, yeah? Not so complicated. Uh, where it gets fun is if I want to change the direction of the pattern and kind of mix it up, I just need to do a couple of things. So the accent pattern is like this, right, left, left. By the way, these little double notes are going to be really soft, okay? The accent's going to be a lot louder. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. If I want to change direction, and go to a right, right, left pattern, okay, where the left hand has got the accent, all I have to do is add and insert two doubles. So I'm playing along right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, insert doubles, right, right, left, right, right. Now suddenly I've, I've switched directions. If I want to return home and go back to the original pattern, all I have to do is add a single right. So if I'm playing along, right, right, left, right, right, left, I just go single right, and then I'm back home. So if I'm going right, right, left, right, right, left, single, okay? Now what's super powerful about this is that it allows you unlimited creativity. So when I'm playing these kind of fills, I'm really just thinking of phrases. I'm not thinking of, am I playing a double in my right hand or a double in my left hand or a single on my right hand or a single on my left hand. All I'm doing is thinking about kind of an overarching phrase. Okay? And so it sounds kind of like this. One, two, one, a two, a two. So you can hear there's a kind of phrase happening there. You know, something like that, right? Uh, and it's, it's really easy to do that uh, because I'm just thinking of a kind of an overarching phrase. And all I'm doing is taking that kind of overarching phrase and I'm orchestrating it on the drums. So I'm just moving my hands to different parts of the drums. 
Now in some of my other videos you've seen before, I'm talking about right from the get-go, whenever you learn new hand patterns, start working them on the drums. Don't wait and just kind of get them down on the snare drum or on one surface. Go ahead and move them out and try moving your arms around because your brain has to kind of recalibrate, recalculate everything when you move your hands. It has to, it's kind of like a totally different pattern for your brain. So just jump in there right from the beginning and start trying to move your hands around while you're learning these patterns. So I'll give you some ideas now using the basic pattern, all right? The uh, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, okay? And I'm gonna move them around the drums, move that pattern around the drums. And you're also gonna notice that sometimes when I play the cymbals, I'm gonna insert a bass drum as well. So I'm gonna play the bass drum at the same time I'm playing the cymbal, which adds just a little more oomph, a little more spice, a little more seasoning to the pattern and to the kind of overall um, phrasing concept. So check this out. One, two, one, a two, a three, a four. So just an idea of how you can move it around the drums. Now, the goal here again is like, it's not to get stuck and I'm just gonna play one pattern and do that as a fill. We wanna get to a place in our jazz drumming where we are really skillful and we're really musical. So we're able to take hand patterns and manipulate them in cool ways so we can create our own phrases over and over and over again. The advantage to that is that we can then connect our drumming to the music, right? It's not enough for us to just be, you know, I could play this pattern. I, I see a lot of that on YouTube, a lot of videos about, you know, learn this hand pattern and it'll change your life and this kind of stuff. That may be fine for that particular person, but I'll tell you that in the world of jazz, you need to have as much flexibility in your playing as possible because you need to be able to respond to the music in the heat of the moment. It can't be this kind of predefined or kind of, you know, kind of thinking ahead of time like, oh, I want to try to play this particular fill somewhere in the music. I want to play this exact pattern in the music. That's for the practice room. When you're out there on the bandstand, what you gotta do is listen to everything other people, the other musicians are playing, and your hands are gonna have to adapt constantly to that situation, that musical situation. So what I want you to do now is you're just gonna take this pattern uh, and you're gonna change it up, like I was telling you earlier. Add in some double rights and, and, and shift the pattern so that there's a left hand accent. Then come back, return home with a single right to bring it back to the right hand accent. And you can start to kind of put together your own phrasing. And what you're gonna do then is at the same time, you're gonna move your hands to different sound sources. So check this out. One, two, one, a two, a three, a four. So you can see there's a lot of creativity there, and I can think in terms of this kind of phrase. You know, that kind of thing. So let's take it up uh, a little faster, take it up to tempo, kind of where I was playing it in the video, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of play some more ideas for you.
So pretty cool, yeah? It's really limitless what you can do uh, creatively. So I encourage you to start with the basic uh, hand pattern, get comfortable with the, the accents on the right hand, accents in the left hand, move it around the drums. Then what I want you to do is insert that double right or single right hand and, and flip the pattern so that you can then move it around the drums in kind of different unique ways. And voila, you're gonna have some cool new jazz drumming fills and they're really going to be uh, swinging and they're going to be very musical and they're going to be able to respond nicely to the music. Now one thing I want to say is that this works really really good especially in a jazz swing context. So as you saw in the video of my playing uh, on a recent gig I was doing it in a jazz swing context. So I encourage you maybe to start there and, and work it into anything that's kind of like a jazz swing, a triplet based groove, and I think you have a lot of success with it. So just a couple more things I want to share with you. I'm working hard to give you a lot of resources to support your drumming. I've got a blog at uh, vonbarrenmusic.com that's written specifically for drummers. All kinds of stuff, topics about drumming health, about playing, how do you play on the bandstand and connecting with other musicians through your instrument uh, and, uh, and basically kind of drumming lessons in blog form. So I encourage you to go and check that out. Uh, I've also got private Zoom lessons which you can sign up for at vonbarrenstore.com and while you're there you can also pick up some drumless tracks. Those are tr uh, music tracks that don't have any drums. Great for you to practice your jazz drumming. So I encourage you to check those out. I've also got a couple of really great courses now at my jazzdrumschool.com. More courses are coming. Uh, the first two are my Brushes Mastery course, which is the most complete online brushes course that's out there. I know you're going to love it. And the second course I have now I recently put up is my Intro to Jazz Drumming. So if you really are kind of wanting to learn more about how to play jazz on the drums, this is an excellent primer for you. So I encourage you to check that out as well. So the last thing I have is my monthly newsletter. You can sign up for that at the link below. The links for all of these, by the way, are below in the description. And uh, it's a really great newsletter. I cover some every month I have a tip uh, for, to help with your drumming. And I also have a lot of different videos I share, uh, stuff that I've published here on YouTube maybe you haven't seen yet, uh, my blogs that maybe you haven't read yet, and uh, some other great things to support your drumming. So thank you so much again for watching. And as I always say, keep on drumming. Take care. Drumming for life.